Okay, let's get started. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel then welcome don't forget to hit the subscribe button on your way out I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in forever honestly this semester has been really kicking my butt like it's getting so real. today it is so nasty outside like it's rainy and slushy and like I personally I love the rain but people consider rainy days nasty days and I for one figured what better would it be to record a story time video on a rainy day like who doesn't want to hear a story on a rainy day? I hope you guys can hear me over like all this wind and stuff. Like I don't know how much sound this camera picks up, but yeah, I really hope you can hear me. And also my roommates are like talking up a storm in the background, so hopefully all this stuff is not too distracting. But I decided today that I was going to tell you guys the story of my first kiss. Like my first kiss. This time when somebody first kissed me so this all started in third grade i didn't kiss somebody in third grade but i had a crush on somebody in third grade now in this story time i decided that i'm not going to use fake names because i'm pretty sure the person who kissed me first for the first time in my life is not focused on me right now like he's not watching my youtube videos he's probably doing his own thing kissing other people so it all started in third grade. So I used to go to this after school program in third grade and I had this huge, huge, huge crush on this guy named Kevin. So it would be like every day after school, I would like look at him and be like, oh, he's so dreamy. Like, I just, I don't know, like, you know, whatever third graders think about when they have a crush in third grade, like whatever. So third grade, I would like just stare at him like every day and just be like super weird like he I'm pretty sure he knew that I liked him but like you know I was just I was scared like I was just shy anyway so third grade nothing happened but I had a crush on this boy for like a whole year so it wasn't until like fourth grade fourth grade it was like you know we were more acquainted with each other um he knew me, I knew him, and you know, we were just you know friends. So what happened was where things really got kicked off was that it was my birthday. So it was like May, time around my birthday. And I was so shy, but I wanted him to come to my birthday party. So I don't remember how old I was turning, but fourth grade. Yeah, I don't remember how old I was turning, but I was too shy to like ask him to my birthday party, but I had like the invitation written out and everything for him. So I was like, Oh yeah, like Kendall, please, like, can you just give it to him? Like, I'm too shy to ask him, but I'm really liking it. I really want to He was also in a grade above me. So like he was in fifth grade and I was in fourth grade and like he was like changing classes in the hallways and I like still had to sit in one classroom all day with one teacher and like he was just advanced like he wouldn't want to talk to me why would he want to talk to me like so I was like Kendall can you please 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 hand him this invitation it was one day in the schoolyard during recess and I was like Kendall please like you're my best friend please just give this to him like I really want him to come so she's like are you sure and I was like yeah I want him to come like he needs to be there so she walks over to him in the schoolyard, like it was like this big parking lot where we used to like play and everything. Like the guys would play on one side of the parking lot and then the girls would play on the other side of the parking lot. And literally like I don't think I've ever went through a phase where like boys were icky to me. Like I've always been obsessed. So she walks over to the boys side when they're playing like kickball or something. I don't know. It was warm outside. I think they were playing like handball with the tennis ball and then like you whip it on the side of the brick building and then people like catch it whatever whatever guys did at that age like dumb guys but anyway so she goes over there and I'm like super nervous because I'm like oh my gosh like he's probably not gonna want to come he probably has fifth grade stuff to do like why would he want to come to my fourth grade <sighs> why would he want to come to my fourth grade party like I don't understand <laughs> so she gives it to him and like I was too afraid to look like I didn't want to see what he was gonna do with the invitation and I swore I swore he threw it on the floor like I'm pretty sure he threw it on the floor Kendall comes back and I'm like did you give it to him she's like yeah so 
I think you had to like RSVP at that time like for my party yes or no. It was at Hot Skates so I don't really know why it was like this whole huge thing but so I think like a few weeks later you know P RSVP yes and then like but the thing about it is that his mom couldn't take him so we had to take him so he like to, got to carpool with me and I was like ah so excited like and I think his mom went too so it was like him and his mom car carpooled with me and my family and like um we all went so then the day of we are at hot skates and all my friends are there and here I come in with <laughs> this hot fifth grader that was like my crush since fourth grade and we roll in and I'm looking cute with my baby fat like outfit on head to toe we went we skated around and around and around and I'm pretty sure he was like really fast like I remember that he was really fast and I was like just so like <gasps> Oh my gosh, like, he's cute and he is fast and he's good at roller skating, like, I just need him in my life. I wasn't no amateur either, like, I was pretty good at roller skating and there was a reason why I wanted to have my party at a roller skating rink, so, I, th I think at one point, like, he grabbed my hand, like, he was, like, flirting with me, like, I think he, like, grabbed my hand and, like, for one loop around, we, like, held hands and I was, like, just so, like, ah, like, the best birthday gifts ever like I was just so happy the birthday party went on and we didn't kiss that day but it was like not until I don't remember it was like a couple weeks later and or like a month later I don't know the time frame because this is a long time ago but it was like you know some while later and um my mom and my dad like my family we ended up throwing a party i think it was for my like sister's birthday or something like we ended up throwing a birthday party again but it was at my house and it was during the summer so it was like nice and warm and everything and i invited him again of course because obviously we had such great chemistry the first time so you know i was trying to hold hands with him again like at this party so of course i invited him and i could have invited him myself at this point because you know we had that connection, like we held hands. I don't need candle anymore. So invited him again, this time by myself. And at this point, like we were like, you know, we were cool. We would talk on the phone and stuff like that. And like, but it wasn't like anything too serious. So I invited him to this party again. And all I remember is like, he just kept flirting with me the whole time. Like, you know, fifth grade flirted with me. And I was like this little fourth grader, like, I didn't really like take the hint too well but you know it, it got me enough to blush like I kind of knew what was going on at that point I was pretty sure he was feeling me too so then I remember at one point at this party we all like went downstairs into my basement and we were like playing this game and I don't remember what kind of game it was I don't remember the details but all I remember is that like he found some like hiding spot that even I didn't know existed in my room like I had no idea that this hiding spot was like an actual thing but he found this hiding spot it was like behind the boiler of like my basement which was like super creepy and I I thought somebody was gonna like be down there like I thought that there was ghosts down there and he was like so brave like I was just like <gasps> <laughs> but anyway so he pulls me into this boiler room and like I really didn't know what to expect like I was just like oh like we're gonna hold hands in here like or do you guys do you want to like show me something weird that you found or like what because I've never been here and I don't really know like what's going on what you're doing so all of a sudden I don't remember who he said he was like talking to me I don't remember but like all of a sudden he like like leans in and I'm like leaning back like um, um, I don't, like, what are you doing? <laughs> and, um, so then he leans in more, and I'm just, like, there. Like, I'm just, like, like, I, I can't move or anything. Like, I'm just, you know, there. So then, like, he just grabs my face and, like, pulls me in more, and I'm just, like, dude, like, like, what are you doing? Like, I've never did this before. I didn't even prepare. Like, I didn't even kiss my teddy bear. I didn't ask my cousin, like... I didn't do anything, I don't know how to do this, like what if I'm bad, what if he never wants to talk to me again, and like he just pecked me on my lips, and I was just like, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> and like all of a sudden I feel my face like turning like just hot red, like 
what did he just do to me just now? Like, was that like a kiss? Like, oh my gosh. Like, mind you, I didn't even think he liked me like that. Like, I, I had a feeling, but then I didn't think he liked me like that enough to kiss me. And then like, he just smiled. And then I think I like just like scampered away. Like I was so awkward at that age. Like I didn't know what else to do. So I like scampered away and we just continued the party. And like, I think like my friends were like, oh, where were you? And I was like blushing and I was like, <laughs> like after that moment, things really started to become like kind of serious and stuff with us like as serious as it could be like we were in fourth fifth grade so it wasn't that serious but like after that moment I know I remember we like talked on the phone every day like I was obsessed with him and like there's definitely more to that story and like comment down below and like like this video if you want to hear the rest of our little cute boyfriend girlfriend relationship after this but yeah this was like the kicker of my first like you know cute little like middle school fling but yeah that was my first kiss it was super awkward and but i like i loved it like <laughs> it was so well i didn't like it at the time because i was just like so subconscious like oh my god I'm so bad and he probably is never gonna talk to me again but like to my surprise he really did talk to me again like but yeah so that was my story and I really hope you guys like that um let me know what kind of stories you guys want to hear next like I'm chock full of stories and just waiting to tell you guys but you guys need to let me know what exactly you want to hear because I only want to put out things that you want to hear so let me know if you want to hear the rest of this story it actually ended kind of sad like kind of got a little bit heartbroken but that's okay I still got my kiss out of him but anyway thanks for watching guys I love you guys I will be back soon I will try and make as much videos as I can with you guys without failing my classes like I'm not trying to fail my glasses. I need to graduate on time. But anyways, like, I love you guys so much. And thank you all for watching. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.